I remember that. Hey guys, welcome to another uh, iteration of the My Hero Academia, like like manga chapters for uh, Sundays. Uh, we're here covering chapter 356. I'm here with Mark. Hey. And Mark, this is something that we always do before every new manga chapter. And what would that be? Oh, the thing. Oh, that thing. Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Recap episode! <laughs> yes, the recap episode. So it's been a couple weeks. I do need the refresher course. Um, we have uh, the aftermath, right? From 355 of like the fight of... Uh, well, actually, no. My bad. Actually, we had to go... It's actually during the uh, All for One fight. Endeavor's falling on the ground. He's having all these images of Shoto, of Toya. Like a one piece character. He, he like he's looking like a one piece character with no pupils. He tries to get back up. He falls and stumbles again. He's bleeding a lot. So he's pretty much for the rest of the entire chapter incapacitated as Hawks is seemingly fighting uh, all for one as the solo like pro hero accompanied by uh, Jiro and Tokuyami. He's not really big on that, but he has to kind of work with that. It's it's still like oh, a yeah, huge sure shock. It's just like uh oh, man. It's like all right, like it, like I I can't actually do this on my own, so I'm gonna need you guys. And uh, <laughs> it's still shocking to see that. I mean, their first years still right, and they're they're fighting the big bad. And I believe this chapter also kind of emphasizes like that like that tension, that uh in that aura of intimidation uh, that we see from Jiro's perspective that, th yeah, like she could die at any moment. And thankfully, Hawks is like really good support, but he can only do so much for them in this situation, especially when, you know, Alf want throws in the like, gross finger cannon. So all, gross. For, all for finger. And there's a nose too. I remember it, it actually it's not, it's like finger as teeth. We see the nostrils and you see like an eyeball like in the corner. It's like, what the? Oh, anyway, no, it's so <laughs> anyway, he starts blasting. So anyway, he started blasting. Um, Hawks tries to do his best to try to like deviate like where that um where the blast is gonna go, but he and like in turn becomes like kebobbed. <laughs> Pretty much. And um, for the most part, uh, our heroes are still in one piece maybe losing a little bit unfortunately jiro like lost one of her earlobes that's that's real rough i still feel bad to this day to this day it's devastating it's just overall devastating to her court it yeah so shows like how long lasting such a battle would be but jiro like fights through the pain she remembers all the hardships that both deku and aoyama had to go through she goes through with the heartbeats around Legato, and for what we understand uh, for now in this chapter is that um, all the other quirks that All For One's stolen has all of a sudden risen up and have held him back. So he can't really like move in this state. And it's at this point that Hawks takes the opportunity. Um, he gets an amplified like effect from the uh, heartbeats surround uh, called sound wave vibration enhance. And uh, Hawks is able to like make a huge dent and pierce open uh, that mask to see what looks to be like, yeah, that should be like his right eye socket. <laughs> it should be. But yeah, that was dope. That's uh, <clears throat> that that's deep dope. Dope. Okay. And with that, we're gonna have to see the aftermath in chapter 356. We have exactly that <clears throat> that point of impact from Jero's perspective. <clears throat> it looks like I have to drink like immediately. Let me go ahead and just do that real quick. It looks like it looks like all for one just get it was like a plane just get hit by a fucking goose. Bruh. <clears throat> Is it not? It looks like it looks like heavy you see the feathers are like pop. Yeah. And um in this page, before we get the uh the chapter title um, Jiro's saying, like, Sugiyomi, Dark Shadow, as she removes her jacket. 
This is uh, number 356, uh, regarding the enemy. Uh, she continues, here's your big chance. I'll catch you, uh, I'll catch up with you later. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Pulse. Bruh. I think this is uh, Tokuyami at this point. Hawks lacks the power to deliver a decisive killing blow. So it has, oh, okay, so it has to be. He coming uh, in hot. Yeah, it has to be Dark Shadow here. He goes with the technique, Abyssal Black Body. He's it's gonna give him, like, the fist. But, uh, the jacket the full... was to keep the light away so he could actually charge up. That's true. That's awesome. I, bruh. Bruh, these kids. <laughs> just Abyssal Black Body. Ragnarok. Just one... And here comes a giant fist! <laughs> That's super cool. So, he, so she wraps around, like, one arm. And essentially, like, gives, like, Dark Shadow just a good moment just to, like, charge up and then enlarge itself and ripping that, like, jack to shreds. It's pretty good. It really is, and here comes a giant fist. <laughs> Patrick, and there comes a giant fist! Patrick, <laughs> As we, um, we see a perspective of all for one still, you see the, like, the... Type of sound effect. So he's still like paralyzed right now after everything. My man got spun. And it looks like in the next page it does a direct hit. You even see like the smash play text. That's 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 you good. Can see he got knocked clean down. <laughs> that's such a cool shot. Let me give shout outs to like <clears throat> Tokiami and Dark Shadow on that one. But uh, you see, I'll read... you see Hawks in the background. Oh yeah, I do see Hawks in the background. I merely, I mainly just see Jiro and just like the one like earlobes from over there. I know, but you see Hawks, but looks like he's ready to go in for the kill. Yeah, he, yeah, and you know what? They do a good job just kind of highlighting Hawks like in the far background. He even gets like, Shing! like you know, you see the sun is right where he is. Shing! Yeah, but uh, Hawks uh, gets a panel here. You thought you were uh, just buying time, didn't you? As uh, Jiro um, safely like grabs onto uh, Tokiyami, so she's good. Uh, Hawks continues, but even pesky gnats can be a pain in the butt. As we just, <laughs> completely shattered like masks now, and we just see just upside down all for one. What? Yeah, that's not a smile. That's not a smile at all. That's a frown. That's a big frown. He's, he's shell shocked. He's like, well, well. Yeah. All right, Mark. Go ahead. I needed to dodge that attack at all costs. Yet my awareness was delayed. We go into his inner thoughts. Mm -hmm. Ever since losing most of my senses, I've made a point of collecting sensory quirks that detect phenomena like vibrations or infrared radiation. As a result, I'm far more... No, let's... Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm far more aware of the world around me than the average person. In this case, the interference didn't come from the girl's pitiful sound attack. Still disrespecting. The real cause was my own quirks. Rebellion. This is a first. Did switching to a synthetic copy really make me more vulnerable compared to my original power? My authority has weakened. I like interesting. Yeah, this. So it's so it's essentially because this uh, they're just reading about this. So basically, he's thinking is, since he's using the copy of his quirk instead of the original one, he's wondering, hmm, is this made me e is this made it easier for the quirks to fight back? Yeah, you know, that's there's no like particular rule that you can look at with all the grand scheme of quirks. It's it's kind of like hypothesizing at this point. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we'll go to the next page and we see mm -hmm. oh here he comes. Hawk coming Hawk's coming in. He's going in. <clears throat> up, until go. up until now, I had to catch him off guard with sneaky moves, which wasn't enough to finish the job. But now, one quick blow can ki can kill him. And Jesus Christ. What happened? Th this uh, is a horrific shot to even look at, to be honest. I think this man is killing his quirks. Bro, <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, I see it. He's like, "What the? Hold on, 
Hogwarts. <laughs> Hawks is like, what the fuck? <laughs> that look in his eyes, like, what the fuck? Does he actually see that? I don't know if he sees it, but he's like, oh gosh, go to the next page. That's so weird, bro. I can't. All right. Well, I guess we'll, we'll find out. And we found out. <laughs> Wretched pests. This. Oh my god. As you just see, so many spiky tendrils coming out. Good lord, that's a lot. Oh no way! I I think I know what happened. Go ahead. As, you see, as we see Jiro and Tokoyami sitting there, and Hawks took the hit for them. Yes, that speed though. We still got a couple of images here. We, we, we go to the next page. We see all these the spiky tendrils just hitting all this debris. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're hitting! They're hitting the parts of the mask. Man, dude. So, how can we describe what we're seeing right now? So, uh, it looks like at the epicenter of everything. Or, no, actually, uh, once the tendrils have, like, dissipated, right, um, we see now more solidified, crystallized, like, object in the center. Like a cocoon, really. Like, it's about to go final form-like or something. No, it, that's not what it looks like to me. To me, what it looks like is He's just use, he's using those to bring back the pieces of his mask to put his mask back together. Oh my bad. You know what? That, that's that's pretty fair. Maybe this is too much of a close up. Now no, I see it. Yeah, because if you look in the other panels, it's like they're all retracting back and just forming his mask again. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what the debris is. Got you. Damn, he has that. Hawk, Bro, Hawk that, just looking at him like, oh shit. Oh my god. Okay. Good grief. My God! And then, okay, I guess I'll take I'll take the next page. And I, I just saw it. We have a really awesome uh panel. Turns out Hawks is okay. Endeavor is the one who took hits, but tried to like break a good number of them. His poor right arm, though. I see that. Yeah, that's legitimately just lost his right arm. Oh shit! He said. That doggedness, says Endeavor, has left you twisted and disfigured. Um, let me see, who's saying that? Young, this is a younger Endeavor. Yeah. They're like, Endeavor! As they immediately cut to, like, flashbacks. Oh my god. Not the young version of you talking to the older version of you. He said, weak. Weak. Even weaker now, he says. Uh, current Endeavor is just, like, on the ground at this point. They're in, like, this, like, pseudo, like, white, um, dimension. The stuff that just happens in internal monologues, really. Pretty As much. Endeavor, like, looks into the past, everything has gone through. His life is literally flashing forward before his eyes. It says, position, atonement, mistakes. Responsibilities. This young endeavor. All of it has, uh, has only exposed the weakness that was always there. It's painful to witness what a loser you've been reduced to. You were never a superhero, NG. You said you'll never be a superhero? Or, okay, yeah. Think back to your origin. Oh, not the origin! <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> not the origin. Origin story. Remember what the real enemy was. We have a shot here. Oh, this is interesting. Like, further, further back? This is younger, younger Endeavor looking out to a uh, pile of rubble. This looks like a residential, like, spot here. As people yes, are, like, workers. someone's got a stretch out covering a body with one hand sticking out in one of the panels. Recall how There's two more bodies right next to them. Yeah, okay, I see that, too. Recall how your father attempted to save a girl from some bastard and wound up as a corpse along with the girl. Damn. All right. You'd be that intense about it? Okay. Continuing. Think back on your envy towards true, uh, true Superman. 
in your inferiority complex. You have a shot of like All Might. Now it's Endeavor uh, in UA. You call yourself Endeavor, as in hard work, showing your menial nature. Remember how you had to put on airs to keep that ugly heart of yours from falling to pieces. And at that moment, that's where like current Endeavor like choke holds uh, a younger Endeavor. And he's like, that's right. You'll never be All Might or Deku. Because I've only, I've only ever done battle with the weakness within. So don't even dwell on the notion of some grand rebirth. Woo! What the, what the what, bruh? Let me, I'll, I'll take this last bit here. Um, go on. Keep cursing that true enemy, uh, that, wait, the true enemy, that weakness. As he just forms a fucking new arm out of fire. That's sick. That's so cool. That's the only thing that's kept you alive. That's a that's an awesome shot. That's so cool. You can almost not you almost can't really even recognize him with that level of shading. I know. But yeah, go ahead. This is nuts. As he just ignites all for one. Just... <laughs> Dog, dog, yeah, I sure am. Which is why, as long as I as I'm alive, I'll never take solace in a job well done. Putting an end to this fight is my duty. As we as, as we just see Endeavor, and then it just Damn. ends. Dude, you you know they're like absolutely wiped when their hair changes. Oh, he's exhausted. I feel bad for him. He, like, uh, uh, he's he's just been like he's been working. <laughs> My God, this is a solid chapter. Also, I want to uh, just for those who are like reading with us, I do realize that um, this is all the that dogness has left you twisted and disfigured endeavor was actually that was actually um all for one saying that towards endeavor and endeavor just didn't say anything at that point i assumed that that was him saying it endeavor but um interesting because obviously endeavor's been walking this path of atonement i mean you saw it all that you saw all of it how like his past self has really just told him about just and the viewers about the ugly truth about like his past and how you know he strived to um to make up for everything that's happened in his life whether it be like from the past and up to like current stuff and it took something like deep within him to just tell him that all that doesn't really like matter it just matters what what's happening right here and right now and so with that, uh, oh my god, this is, I, I want to bring up the, uh, the panel, like, in between, like, that super shade, and, um, the whole grappling of, like, younger, of, uh, younger Endeavor. There's a shot of, um, where it says, go on, keep cursing that true, uh, keep cursing the true enemy, that weakness. And it shows, uh, full body Endeavor. What seems to be grasping, like, the other one, like, from the flames of hell or something. It's like they're both just engulfed in flames. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then we just get that panel, that really sick panel next to it. That's so cool. You know, it takes you, it could take you a little bit just to see the formation of a flame, like, fist. He legit just made a new arm out of fire. You even see the shot of, like, of all four. He actually has his hands out blocking this. <laughs> like, oh. He's like, oh, shit. That's, oh, my God. What the? <laughs> what the? Now, you know for a fact that hurt. Yeah. Yeah, no. 
Like, look at that. If you look at all for one right there, ain't no way that didn't hurt. All for one has taken so many beatings just in this the past two chapters. Very solid blow from um, Hawks just to break the mask and Tokuyami giving him another punch to him. And then Endeavor yet, yet again giving him another punch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It, it also looks like he cauter- he cauterized the wound on his uh, his right side. You know what? I could kind of see that. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. He would have to do that to stop the bleeding. Yeah, because because if you cauterize it, yeah, it'll, it'll stop bleeding just in general. Yeah, that's crazy. It makes sense though. He, he oh, also did that for all of his yeah. other wounds too. Yep, including his arm. Right, and for something else, bro. <laughs> I, I mean, just like I thought he lost his arm before, and I was like, okay, yeah, now for sure his arm is just gone. Yeah. My God, it's almost like taking like like almost a tragic hero type of uh, path, which I actually kind of don't want for him. I want him to kind of like fall through with everything, uh, and still keep living. And just do the best that he can. But this could be one of those things where like the sacrifices and the risk like become too big for him. Even for him. What what probably stings the most was the fact that Young Endeavor acknowledged the fact that like, yeah, you're not gonna be all might. You're not even gonna be Deku. And <laughs> it's like, bruh. You're just, that's why he's gotta be him. Right. He's gonna be Endeavor. Like, Endeavor's been trying so hard to get to that number one spot, and he got there, right? But he never felt like it was earned or anything. It was kind of like a technicality. He didn't feel like he deserved it. That too, for sure. Especially when more of the family stuff came up. It was more, It all of a sudden, it's just, you know, it's just him. He shouldn't be looking at, like, his sons to uh, do this for him. They should have go after that like for themselves and not for him and you know like endeavors in a spot where like he would he'll climb to the top but he'll never like reach the summit of like a higher like peak it, it's it's kind of rough because you know i i feel like he's always been trying to aim for the top no matter what and he he acknowledged the fact that he could never reach like where all might was a long time ago but other than that like there was really no higher peak than that. But to now know that like Deku is like at that point where like he's kind of surpassed like Endeavor, technically speaking. Or like by technicality of all the other quirks. It's real rough, so but it also makes this scene just a lot more like impactful because this is just like Endeavor's last hand. This is like everything he's got. Everything's worth the ultimate evil. Yeah. To like really fight the ultimate evil, that's what he has to do. And uh it's one of those things where like he's it's like super admirable too, the fact that like he understands this and so he just kinda looks forward. You see it on the last panel. Like there there's not even a shred of doubt in what he needs what he needs to do. Oh yeah, he's ready to give it his all and finish all for one. Yeah, th- this is a, this is a, this is a crazy chapter, bro. <laughs> oh my like, god, I, that that's gonna be something if Endeavor is actually the one to put down all for one. That would actually be really dope. Even if it's like the clone version, that's still like a huge achievement. Just not only for like the war efforts, but just for him, like as as a hero and as like an individual. for him to put down the original body also another like uh thing i wanted to point out was uh when hawks was like trying to go in for like a finishing kill and we see that like what seemed to be a very quick interruption because he even like cuts off the kill him bit is the shot of like, what we could possibly imagine what all like off one's doing is like literally eating the quirks that are like rebelling against them and like Hawk, Hawks picks up on that. He's got like a sixth sense about that, and so immediately like U turns over to like Tokyama to shield him. 
And I was like, bro, that quickness to just notice that. He just said, oh shit, gotta protect the kids. But the fact is that Endeavor was faster too. I was like, bro, what? Endeavor said, no, I'm gonna eat this shit. Man, dude. And uh, you, do we know what happened to like the mask? I'm pretty sure in the in the fire, you see the pieces just got blown straight back out. You know what? You're probably right. <laughs> where where he punches where he punches all for one, you can see in the sides of all for one's head. Yeah, those pieces went flying. Yeah, I, I kind of see it maybe on the sides here. Yeah, they, I think he just incinerated those back off. Okay, gotcha. I'm glad it didn't end up becoming like a thing where like he tried to crystallize himself. And I was like, oh, bro, this is like it's like Sasuke versus Gara. Yeah, it just goes into like the big like sand coffin thing or cocoon. Nah, we going nah. straight home. Nah, and everyone's like, where are you hiding? It's not like bitch in here. Oof. Yeah, dude. I, I, I think I think after this endeavor should retire. Just 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 relax for the rest of your days. You you earned it. You know what? Here's it. You beat the ultimate evil. Just go rest. Just just rest, like. Atonement? Take it. <laughs> you legit beat the most evil guy in the world. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I, I, I'm kind of just left speechless after all of that now. For now, I guess for now, like, I, I just want to know whether we're going to see this, like, is this going to be, like, the finishing move is all for one clone finally down for the count and therefore we are now left with uh two other sides of the war left or this all I mean, for one clone have one he, last trick I, I mean once he once the original body is down all that's left of him is Shigaraki yeah all for Shigi all of those fingers You yeah, know, I think, <clears throat> I think despite All for Shigi kind of taking the spotlight, this still like has like a level of importance too, just because it is just like the mastermind right there. Mm -hmm. even, if, even if he does kind of like take over like Shigaraki here and there in that body, but yeah, no, th this is just like this is raw, raw. Yeah. All right. I think that's everything. Mark, is there anything else you want to add before um, we wrap up? Nah, I think we pretty much said everything that needs to be said. So crazy. The next chapter, um, 357, is going to be happening in a week. So. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. We're going to finally see. I want I want some closure about this fight anyway. As you say, you can't just do this and then say, all right, take, take a couple weeks off. Be like, no. <laughs> no. In two weeks. Uh, uh. Yeah, no. All right, then. We'll go ahead and wrap it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see y'all in the next one, and we'll have that down within the week. So, all right, yeah, guys. Hashtag bye, everyone.